Okay, the adrenal gland, cortisol. We hear about cortisol a lot. It is the stress hormone. It mobilizes energy. It's um, actually acutely, it's great. We need, when we're in an acute situation, to have high cortisol. It's a, it's a reaction to stress. And where we get in trouble is when we have chronic stress and chronic output of cortisol. It can decrease muscle mass, uh, increase fat, decrease the meta metabolism. This is over time. And then actually interfere with good bone density. And then with all of that, then increases the risk of heart disease, high blood pressure, and diabetes. Another hormone of the adrenal gland is the DHEA. And the DHEA can actually, remember I was talking about how all of the hormones um, go down different pathways um, and we all operate a little differently. So the DHE can actually be converted into estradiol, estrogen, or testosterone. It's very important for stress, for immune function, increased lean body mass. It's a, really a sense of overall well-being. And then adrenal fatigue, but some people actually think that adrenal fatigue does not exist. But what it is, is being under that chronic stress, pumping out the cortisol constantly. Um, what happens? Your body kind of gives out. Everything, you're just exhausted, so you get this mild depression. You have to, in, you have to really push yourself through life. And with that comes you don't care about sex, but you don't care about much else because you're just pushing yourself ahead to finish your day. Um, thyroid hormone, very, very big, very important, and we hear a lot about it. Obviously, it's responsible for metabolism, meaning every cell in the body really, um, for the most part, um, is controlled somewhat by the thyroid. Um, it certainly increases fat burning, increases and maintains energy, um, controls weight. Symptoms of low thyroid can be anything from fatigue to uh, weight gain to constipation, uh, really badly um, decreased uh, thinning hair. Uh, one woman I work with all of a sudden was constipated, nothing worked. She uh, finally got her thyroid checked. They gave her a little bit of thyroid medication and she wasn't constipated anymore. For her, that's how it really um, played out. Now, some people, they have low thyroid and they just feel uh, kind of like lethargic. They don't have severe symptoms. So again, um, some people can have fairly uh, severe hypothyroidism and maybe not severe symptoms. Uh, mm -hmm. Meaning if you don't check it, you don't know. Eventually, it's going to catch up with you because your body compensates until it can't anymore. Uh, growth hormone, which is, I guess, a dirty word in the media. Um, we use growth hormone from 0 to 20 to grow. In fact, that's how we knew about it. These little kids weren't growing. We checked. They, they weren't making any growth hormone and actually had to take growth hormone so they could um, achieve their height. But from the age of 20 onward, what we use it is it's really cellular repair. It can increase muscle mass. It does help in lipolysis, decreasing fat. Very important for the immune system. Uh, in terms of increasing libido and working with testosterone, it works with all of the hormones. It works beautifully with testosterone. Um, maintaining cellular function, which is what I was saying. Uh, a lot of people now when they are going to get surgery, uh, whether it's athletic surgery or not, uh, we know that if they go in with a good high level of growth hormone, they can recover faster and better. Um, a physician I work with in uh, Los Angeles, 62-year-old um, guy, had to have um, uh, open heart surgery. Um, he got his um, testosterone and his growth hormone up to a really good level, went in and had the surgery, and in three days, he was using no pain medicine, he was out of bed, they couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. He maintained a bit of a high level until he really um, was a little stronger, and uh, he's doing beautifully. He's recovered remarkably well, and I do think that this had a lot to do with it.